Now then, our next guest has been at the centre of some of EastEnders' biggest storylines over the last two decades, famously shooting Phil Mitchell back in 2001. And after returning to Albert Square last year, Lisa Fowler found herself yet again wrapped up in Mitchell mm. family drama. Wow, Lisa Benjamin plays. Lisa joins us now. Lovely to see you. When, yeah. The great thing, it would appear, yeah. um, is that because you dip in and dip out, yeah. you go in for a really meaty storyline, mm. and then and we don't we know that you're uh, you're on your way out again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what a perfect position to be in. I, I feel really lucky that it that it happens that way. To be honest, because I, I do feel like I've got the best of both worlds. You know, I, I get called up and they say, "Will you come and?" do this storyline and, and be here for an X amount of time. Um, and, and when they tell me what, what, what it involves, I always say yes, because it's, it's, they give me brilliant stuff to do, and then I'm free to go and do mm. other bits and bobs. So I have a really great time but in that respect. This, this storyline in particular, it seems that us as the viewer are the only ones that know the whole truth. That's true, yeah. Because all of the characters know a little piece of the puzzle, but none of them are kind of synced up yet. And, you know, Lisa, she, she doesn't know anything about this sort of attempt no. at murder on Keanu. No. And, does, what's she going to do when she finds out that actually Louise, her daughter, was involved? Well, yeah, because at the moment all Lisa knows is just that um, Keanu is the father of Sharon's baby yes. and, and he's left the square. So, um, I mean, that is all still to play out, the fact that Lisa finds out that it is... Um, that, that more sinister things have happened to yeah, Keanu. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, uh, really, it, it gives more ammunition to Lisa wanting to take Louise as far away from the square as possible and, and just protect her. Okay. And, that, and that, we are assuming, because Louise is also going as well, that that is the exit zone. Oh, well, no, you know... That, we don't know, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask possibly you to comment say, on Immediately, that. my Phil... head went, Portugal, they're going to go back to Portugal. <laughs> well, you have to watch and wait and see. There's loads of drama to come in the meantime. One of the other things that you could go back for and be a part of was Tamsin's exit yeah. story. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and that's, you know, with, with Mel, because they, they are such great mates. Well, I mean, they've, they've got such a beautiful relationship, Mel and Lisa. And uh, funnily enough, when John Sen first put the call in to me and said, listen, it's, you know, this is the storyline. And I just, I just thought, fantastic, to get to work with Tamsin again, yeah. and really, because um, it had been years and years. Um, and just to be with my mate was just a glorious thing to kind of be involved in. Um, and... You know, it was a massive storyline. It was a really big deal, and it was done really well. So, um, you know, it, and it was, and up until Tamsin, you know, she she died. Uh, we had a great time exploring those two yeah. characters and the dynamics. I in know, and I'm them. gutted that we can't and, see more of them together. And, and new viewers were there with them as well. Yeah. I hadn't witnessed that before, and that's what was so lovely. We yeah. got new people that had never witnessed Mel and Lisa together, seeing them for the first time. And it's almost like for Lisa, actually, she hasn't really processed the death of her friend. She's not had time. She, she hasn't had time. She's been she focused on so much. So I feel like that's coming. Well, as you know, well. you know, she had that brief moment of of going to the. the and, but, but everything, there's been one drama after another, after another, after another in True Soap style. So I think, you know, there is, there is still the grieving process to happen with Lisa. And if she's, you know, drama, 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 one thing mm. after another, minds everywhere, could that push her back into the arms of Phil? I mean, I know that they've <laughs> the been million through a million-dollar question. I know, but they have been through a lot. But sometimes... Love things, and hate well, they're are so, so similar. close. It's so... They're so wrapped up in each other. I mean, I think it's more hate than love at the moment. Um, so, I mean, I don't... At the moment, I don't think that is on the cards. Um, but I, I think people do really like to watch Lisa and Phil yeah. and how yeah. they are just at loggerheads constantly. And it's so explosive. Yeah. And I think it's really interesting to see. So, you know, who yeah. you knows? But, Day one, when you first joined, yeah. um, was there a Harley Davidson? There was a huge motorbike for me. I mean, I'm five foot. There was this huge motorbike for me to try and ride. I could barely reach the floor. Um, <laughs> and, and in the end, I just... I mean, they tried to send me on motorbike lessons. Did to, you have to, lessons? Well, they, they sent me on for lessons, yeah. And I came back going, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. And I turned up and then there was this huge... Not just a little moped thing, this great big motorbike. So how did they get round it, then? Well, basically, they just had to have a shot of me starting the ignition <laughs> and then they cut and then they'd, and then, then they'd, do a, they'd do a closer shot and then they'd just see me being... Like, as if I was going off, acting like I was going off with my, on my own, of my own volition. And there were prop boys <laughs> pushing me, <laughs> docked out of shot, Smoking just mirrors. trying to push me, you know. It needs must, really. But I, then they kind of wrote that out pretty quickly. You got, you got one of those... Uh, it's like a badge of honour, I think, a Peggy slap. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't even remember when that happened, but I know I, I know I've been hit by her. Yeah. Um, you do kind of feel like you've made it if you get a There's slap by her. Look at that! There. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, didn't and she? that that was just another one of my brief returns that I was involved in. I think it's something to do with it, with a with a Peggy Mitchell storyline, and and yeah, and I think I got a slap and probably deserved it at the time. But you do feel like yeah. you've really you've made it if you get slapped by Peggy. So can we even ask you if this time you are going? Is the door left open? Are you allowed to discuss that, or we can't even go there? Uh, 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 oh, I don't even know if I can talk about. It. I mean, basically, I knew I was going back for a stint. Yes. You know, so um, there was. So, and I've completed. Could that there stint. be another stint in the future? Well, possibly. Right. Okay. Possibly. Never possibly. say never. Well, no, is yeah. A good I mean, it's so difficult to kind of. You know, and they get to kind of stand there going, "You're not allowed to say this. Not allowed to say that." You know, the yeah. PR well, ladies and. Just, you know, know, we don't always want to know. No, but also, you know, but Lisa never seems to go away. She's like a bad penny, isn't it? She just keeps popping up, and you well, know, so she does. Thank you. Long that. may that continue. It's lovely to see you. Thank you, and you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.